Hello, I'm here with John Levine, who we all know as Sergeant Benton. Hello, nice to meet you. Well, it's nice to meet you. Um, are you looking forward to the convention today? Well, I always do, because you get to meet the people that make you. John Pertuon said to me, if you don't recognize the fans, they are the people. Although I don't like the word fan, fan is short for fanatic. I think they're more enthusiasts. But I am so proud of being in the classic series of Doctor Who, especially with John Pertwee, Roger Delgado, and Nicholas Courtney. I'm still overwhelmed, in a way, that I've got to the age of 73, and I still think it's one of the loveliest things I ever did. Doctor Who made my life, and as going around all doing all these shows, it just means that, you know, we get to go on camera. Hello, everybody. And, um, yeah, so all in all, it's absolutely wonderful, and I'm thrilled and proud to be Sergeant Benton. Now, I guess at the conventions, you must get um, a lot of the younger people coming up who have recently discovered your episodes. How does that make you feel? Well, yes, you do. Um, well, first of all, they like the um, half-hour episodic stuff. And they also like the classics because it was a totally different feel. I mean, if you think about it, England 50 years ago was totally different than it is now. Now, I must say one thing about the new doctor, Peter Capaldi. Um, I thought David Tennant, by the way, was utterly brilliant. He does, deserves everything he gets. He was such an extraordinary... I've just seen a pair of legs that makes me want to go home and get married. Um, <laughs> And, um, but yes, Peter Capaldi, um, I don't know how he started off, whether he, he was enjoying it, but he certainly has a little bit of the flavour of John Pertwee about him. As soon as I saw that red lining in his, one of his coats, I thought, that's John Pertwee. So, um, and of course, I would love to, if you're going to ask me, would I love to be back? I don't think Peter Moffat's ever going to have any of us older ones back. But if you ask me, would I like to go back in the show? You're bloody right, I would. I'd be there in a New York minute. And um, they say the viewing figures would jump by 50% if Richard Franklin, Katie Manning or I just made one time tiny appearance. I do it for nothing. Oh no, wipe that off. Wipe that off. Um, but no, it, it would be lovely to go back and do it. And of course, let's be honest, every Doctor Who actor dreams of going back. Um, but it's not going to happen, so I'm just going to live with the dream. But that's good enough for now. Um, but you've done some work on audio dramas as well, haven't you? I did a couple of big fin uh, one big finish, um, but um, the main thing I want to say is I became a singer. Um, I would love any of your viewers to go onto, the, um, onto Amazon.com. Um, my album is called The Ballads of Sergeant Benton. Well, what else would it be called? It would be hardly called The Ballads of <laughs> Captain Mike Yates, would it? Um, so anyway, I've just been over to Hollywood. I'm recording my second album now. I became a bit of a singer, and what I'm hoping to do is hoping that people will book us. And I've got a little band. My band is being called Sergeant Benton's Lonely Hearts Club Band, based on the Beatles' Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and we've even recorded the album again. It was 20 years ago today, the Sergeant Benton thought the band to play, and that's only rough singing, you know. Anyway, so I'm very excited. Singing and playing saxophone is my new life, uh, my new life energy. Uh, that's great. Well, I look forward to hearing it, and we'll certainly plug it to okay. our fans. Well, thank you very much. So, uh, just quickly, um, Sergeant Benton has obviously one of the really loved characters in the show. Um, even after all these years, why do you think he's so like loved by the fans? Gosh, well, you know, I, I, I have to admit, it is the last 10 years I've realized just how much they love me. But you know, we English people are very strange with, um, you know, with affection. I think they love Benton because Benton was the everyman. I would have died for the Doctor. I would have died for Joe Grant. I would have died for any of the characters. And I think the fact that I became so popular is because I have a very um, a, a feminine side. I mean, I'm not the most butch bloke in the world, but I think it's my emotional standpoint and the fact that I had such a rough childhood that made me so extraordinarily excited at getting Sergeant Benton. I mean, when you think I was a Yeti first or Cyberman first and then a Yeti, and then when Douglas Camfield gave me Sergeant Benton, I couldn't believe it, and I still can't believe it. I'm 74 years old, and I still can't believe that I am the man that made so many fans happy. So uh, to tie up your interview here, it's been an absolute joy being Benton. Um, and as I said, if they did ever ask us back, I'd be there in a New York minute, as they say. Uh, so to all the fans, thank you very much for your loyalty. I am aware uh, that we older actors aren't seen uh, on the TV as much, although we've been on the Horror Channel for the last six months. So uh, all in all, it's been an absolutely gorgeous time. And thank you for your time, by the way. Thank you to the cameraman there who's always the quiet one in the background and uh, is there anything else oh we're gonna have to stop now there's a lot of noise going on maybe this is a time to wrap it up yeah okay well enjoy the event Thank convention it's a pleasure to meet you. you. Thank you it's a pleasure